Welcome back, everyone. This is Return to Tennis. I'm Aaron. Thanks for returning. Um, got something a little different for you today. Something a little spooky, maybe. Uh, maybe that was the intention. I don't know. Um, quite possibly the ugliest racket I've ever seen or hit. Um, so I'm all for rackets having personality, being unique in some fashion having different head shapes. If you look at old ones like the Pumas, the uh, some of the, the vocals, like the, the Power Bridge 10, it had a weird shape. Good with it. It wasn't bad. The Nysels, the Rossinals, the Lacoste had a frame that had the little indented and then it rounded out again. Different, right? Not bad. Different. The Fisher Superforms. Different. The shapes, you know, Okay, the Snallwort Ergonom. Weird. But okay. Not not I can I can handle it. I can appreciate it. But this is just ugly. I, I don't know what they were thinking. It's the Donne Ghost. Right? Wide body. Um it's very egg like in its shape. And I think the roundness of the frame is what gives me the feeling that it looks like an egg. So, as I understand it, and I could be wrong, because there's not a lot of information readily available about rackets from Donne, especially in the 80s and 90s. Uh, it was before the internet. So, a lot of information is not there. So, the rumor is... Agassi was interested in trying wide body frames. This frame probably came out in around 93, 92, 93, 94, right when Agassi was kind of towards the end of his deal with Donne. The rumor was that he was interested in trying some wide body frames. Donne said, well, we're going to develop this wide body frame for him and he's going to endorse it and we're going to sell a ton of them and keep the company moving forward and afloat. And then that didn't happen. Um, I don't know how this even got past, you know, approval. How did this even get, you know, the check mark to move forward? It, so it's wide, right? It is wide, but it's rounded. And the more you go towards the top, the more rounded and tubular it gets. Um, I almost feel like there was a, engineer at Donne who knew that Donne was in trouble and wanted to get fired. Like he was on contract and couldn't leave. So he like designed this. And he's like, I'll design the dumbest looking racket I can think of. It'll be ugly. And there's no way they'll prove it. And they'll fire me and I can get out of my contract and go work for like head. And so this is what he submitted. And they were like, genius. And they approved it. And they went forward and they, and you know, and they sold them. We're going to go out and hit it today. It's strung with Prince Premier string, 16 gauge. I didn't string it. It came strung. I'm not putting money in this. Uh, I put a grip on it with the overgrip and whatever this funky weird lightning bolt dampener is. It is at 337 grams. So without them, it's probably around 330 uh, strung. I've not been able to find much information on this racket. Very little. Uh, what I have come across hasn't been too flattering. I've read that it's powerful. That it's actually a pretty powerful frame. It doesn't seem to be very head light to me. It's maybe only a couple points head light. I don't have a balance board. Uh, and I've read that it's extremely stiff. That's a very stiff frame and a powerful frame. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll go out. This my first time hitting it. It's going to be... My first time hitting it is going to be your first time seeing me hit it. So, I've not hit this before in, like, warm-ups or practice points or anything to see what it does. Uh, kind of feels like a bat with that thick beam like that. But let's get out and see how it goes. Okay, guys, here we go. The ugly egg. That is the Donne Ghost. I don't know why they went with the name Ghost. Maybe it was meant to 
you know, they were going to make, it was going to make walls disappear, like, past your opponent. Uh, I don't know, was it going to, it definitely was, it wasn't because it disappeared off the shelves, I can tell you that. I remember this being released. Uh, but, like, even back then when I saw it, I was like, what the hell is that? So, despite its, its appearances and its weird beam thickness and roundness, how does it feel? Well, you get a lot of feel because this is probably one of the most uncomfortable rackets I've ever hit. The amount of vibration coming through the frame off the string bed is immense. More than any racket I've ever hit. I've never had a frame vibrate out of the string bed as much as this. The dampener might as well not even be there. Uh, it, it feels like it it's like the, it feels like there's no dampener in the strings. It really does. The every shot is so much vibration in the string bed that you can hear it quite audibly. Uh, it feels hollow, right? Remember, I always talk about that feeling of density. This frame feels that way, and probably that's due to the round, tubular nature of the hoop. I don't imagine that this is foam filled. Uh, it does have a lot of power. Uh, I found some shots just right away uh, fly out of the string bed. I'm not sure what the string tension is. The strings felt fairly tight, um, but I, I can't be sure. But it didn't really feel like I needed to swing too hard to get depth out of it. Uh, it definitely had a lot of pop, but it is fairly stiff doesn't really give very much and that in a, you know cooperation with the amount of vibration I get out of the strings this thing had to be just absolute murder on your arm over an extended period I can't see anyone playing this well, that was great right off the frame I can't see anyone playing this racket for extended periods and not having elbow issues Ooh. uh if you frame a ball with this, it feels like you're hitting a ball up with a bat. It really does. You know, a lot of times when I frame a ball, it's a little, it's in the edge of the hoop or it's off the side a little bit. No, this thing, it feels like you struck a baseball. It feels that solid because the frame is so thick. It, it's not just wide, it's thick. And it's, you know, just easy to, when you frame a ball, to like send it flying in whatever direction. But yeah, real stiff, decent power. Not a great racket. I would, you know, I rescued this from a play against sports for like twelve dollars. I saw it. I was like, wow, that's ugly. I must have it, and it joined the shelf. But I was really curious what it would feel like, and it's not good. But just a short hit today, guys. Nice cool day. Heat's coming back next week. But if it's nice where you are, get off the couch, get on the courts, and don't be scared to try new rackets.